the variety of work is is a daily diet but of course there are options also for looking at more specialised roles within the district bench. Uh, there are what we call tickets for private law work which is the, the parent parental dispute for children. There's the public law ticket which allows a, a judge to uh, deal with cases involving local authorities and care. Uh, there is the call to protection again which is another limb of the work of the district judge looking at mental health issues perhaps. There are some courts that have bankruptcy jurisdiction, that's a fairly specialist area. Uh, there are uh, some judges who are cost judges who again specialise in particularly complex costs arguments on the back of cases. There are some judges who specialise in medical negligence. Uh, so within the role that we play, the variety of work that we all face, you can look at if you are able and your uh, particular area demands it, more specialised roles uh, which sit side by side with the day-to-day -day work we do, all of us do, uh, but allow maybe expertise gained in practice to be utilised for the benefit of court users. So um, how I ended up doing family work was I was initially appointed to courts where there wasn't very much family work and I felt that given I didn't have any experience in it, I really needed more exposure in order to be competent. And so um, an email came round for what they call an expression of interest exercise, asking if there was anyone who was willing to go and sit for a block of time in a specialist family court. Um, I responded to that um, and was invited to spend three months sitting in a specialist family court. Um, and that was where I got all the help from my colleagues and started to find that I did enjoy it. And at the end of my three months, uh, I was asked if I would be willing to do it on a more permanent basis. And that's how I ended up doing um, with the sitting pattern that I have. Um, there are other opportunities to expand the jurisdiction. I know that there are uh, expressions of interest exercises for the Court of Protection, for example. And so there are ways of expanding the work so that you're not doing the same thing all the time, although, frankly, district judge's job is so varied um, that you're rarely doing the same thing over and over again in any event. But there are those opportunities out there. One of the advantages of being in a medium-sized court is that because there are several judges here, there's the opportunity for each of us to uh, specialise in a particular area um, more than others. You still do the general day-to-day -day work, but for example, I deal with all of the disease work here, noise-induced hearing loss, hand-arm vibration syndrome, that type of work. And although I hadn't done that in practice for a number of years before um, I was appointed uh, to this role, it, it was quite a, a short but steep learning curve, um, it's now given me the opportunity to learn an entirely new area of law and practice and, um, and, and be the specialist judge here. There are also opportunities to sit on committees. Uh, the uh, Association of District Judges is a very active organisation. Um, there are uh, uh, members of the committee who deal with the health and welfare of uh, district judges, of employment um, uh, issues. Um, uh, personally, I've been fortunate enough to be the representative for the Association of District Judges on the International um, uh, Association of Judges Committee, and that's afforded me the opportunity of um, travelling outside the jurisdiction to attend conferences, which has been extremely challenging um, and very intellectually stimulating as well. Um, uh, I know one of my colleagues has recently applied for uh, um, a role on the um, redrafting of the family procedure rules. Um, I think that application is still pending, so I don't know what the outcome of that is. But there is very much opportunity to get involved um, in uh, areas of uh, uh, the practice and the uh, jurisdiction that interests you as well as the um, the uh, fast uh, volume of cases that come across your desk on a day-to-day -day basis. I have um, taken up opportunities to do uh, other uh, activities outside of sitting um, because it gives variety um, and I find that uh, rewarding. Uh, the areas that I have particularly enjoyed are, um, first of all, I fairly recently um, applied for and got my court of protection ticket and I've been on training and I've started sitting in court protection which gives me 
a, a, a variety of work, that's sitting. And in terms of outside of sitting, um, many of the judges in Central Family Court become uh, liaison judges to local authorities. Um, and I um, have become a liaison judge for one local authority, and that involves meeting uh, them um, probably quarterly to discuss their case, uh, their, their workflow and, and their manage, practice management and how they manage cases. An interesting aspect of that is I've become involved in the PAUSE project, which is a project to assist um, mothers who have a number of children removed and, and are trying to make changes to their lives, whether they go on to have more children or they choose not to. And I found that particularly rewarding. Uh, there are plenty of opportunities for full-time district judges to uh, do other kinds of work. So, for example, they might take up a post uh, as a, a tribunal chair. Uh, they can apply to be a recorder. Um, some uh, district judges in due course go on to uh, other kinds of work. So, for example, they might be appointed as circuit judges. Uh, there are plenty of opportunities for doing more than just what your courthouse provides. So in this particular courthouse, for example, we do virtually no family work. But if somebody here really wants to do family work, there are plenty of opportunities to change their working pattern so that some of their uh, uh, time is spent in a court that does family work.